Hello, everyone. Last week we introduced the Telegram AI companion bot, NovaBot. Today we're going to walk you through the coding session very quickly. Let's dive in. And this is VS Code. As I said at the beginning of our chat, that all the code is available on the repo. But here I just go very quickly and briefly over the code. What I have done is to create like a configuration or config file where you can store all the API keys. So you can use environment variables here. I haven't used that one. So it's probably safer to use environment variables rather than kind of adding them directly the API keys here. So these are all the API keys that I use. One for Grok, Navita, AI for kind of image generation. And they have a bunch of other uh, LLMs as well. OpenAI I'm using, and then we also need a Telegram token. So I didn't explain here, but if you want to use Telegram, Telegram bot, first you need to follow some instruction on Telegram to create the bot and get some Telegram token. And so this is the main entry of this application, which is a fast API application here. So I initialize, let's say, all the things that I need. And the routes contained the most important things here. You can see I have a webhook here. And as I said, if you use Telegram bot, because Telegram is an online service, but it needs somehow to connect to your local computer, let's say, if you want to develop and test. So you need somehow to make your computer, local computer, publicly available. If you want to do that, then you can use ng-rock. To do that, what I have done here, you can see when you run ng-rock command line and you give the specific port that you run your backend, then it gives you a public URL where you can kind of, or Telegram can use to access and send the messages between the Telegram bot and essentially your backend. So that's here what I am using and setting. And then, so all the messages come to, to this function here, which is the conversation manager basically. And then based on the type of message, if it's a text or if it's a voice, and then I do certain things here. And then at the end, I need to process the conversation, update the, the estate and the history. And then after that, I will just go and generate a response. So you can see that there, there are certain functions here, add or get AI response is the, is the AI generated uh, text that comes. And then what else? I have some utility functions to basically kind of download the audio files when you record an audio and send it to Telegram, but which I didn't test. And for, for STT, right, which is a speech to text part I use. So this is a speech to text. So I'm using Grok. So you can see that this is just essentially the entire code that I need. And I am using this whisper large, and this is only for English. For So I have three different services here. One is the speech-to-text, one is the Telegram service, which is going to generate or to create different types of messages. If it's a text message or if it's an audio message, right? Or if it's a, a Telegram image. So I am doing this type of stuff here. For text-to-speech, as I said, I am using uh, Kokoro, which is um, part of... Um, is part of this probably a so here is Kokoro TTS. I have a, a specific folder for that, and this is uh, all the code that I am actually I have written here. If you go to their website, they have a lot of example code that you can use, but you need to download these two files, and then after that you initialize, and then you can essentially pass your text, and then it will generate the audio for you. An AI service file includes this get AI response, which is essentially to connect to the LLM, pass the prompt, and then it will generate the response. And I am using a light LLM. And the good thing about light LLM, I can switch to another LLM if I want to with just changing one single line. I don't need to really change my entire code. For generating images, I have two functions. One is calling Dolly to generate images. This is the function. And the other one is, so this is the function here. And for uh, another function that I'm using, Navita AI, and this is the way that you have to call that. They have a documentation showing how to do it. So what is Navita AI? So Navita is a platform where uh, they give uh, a lot of you know, LLMs. They provide a lot of services that people can use and businesses can use. 
So they have a lot of LLMs that you can use. You know, you just just like uh, OpenAI, where you go and buy you know APIs from them to use only you know OpenAI. Uh, Navita gives you um, a lot of different LLMs. They have you know even DeepSeek. They have a lot of you know Llama three. Quen, a bunch of other LLMs. They even have several different models for image generation. They even have, I think, audio generation as well, where if you want to use, so you go there and I guess they have some free credits as well. But when you, let's say, become a member, you generate API kit just like OpenAI and then you use it in a very similar way. So what else? I have a bunch of other functions here that are essentially just, you can see the from the name, this is the prompt that I have for this entire part here. You can see that, you know, you are Nova and advanced AI. So I kind of created some personality for the bot, some backstory and, and bio and things like that, uh, some guidelines probably. And I also have another prompt, which is for the router. So when user kind of types something or sends an audio or whatever, when the message comes to the backend, there is a router who decides which way to go and what to do next, what is the next action. And then, mm -hmm. so this is the prompt for that. And this is an image generation prompt. If, when I'm using uh, Navita, for example, or even um, Dolly, um, when user says, show me an image of a cat, for example, this is very raw and very basic. So this prompt here is gonna enhance that prompt, make it you know, better. So it will generate a much uh, nicer image. Ooh. Any questions about the code? So that's essentially it, right? This is more or less the mm. entire code and you can add a lot more feature to that. This is just a very basic version of it. Yeah, I don't have any questions on the code. It looks fairly straightforward. And I guess we can create our own uh, Telegram bot, at least based on this baseline version and maybe even create a different personality. Like you have, you created your personality. Maybe I, you know, I was watching... Um, I don't know if you've seen, have you ever heard of Asian GPT? No. You know, Stephen? Hull? Yes. Yeah. That's comedian. Yeah. I have watched a bunch of videos. I'll send it to you. He's like, he's saying if chat GPT was Asian, he has an episode that's really funny. <laughs> and that it's like, I don't think in his episode it's like Asian. I think it's more like Asian mom <laughs> or Asian. I don't think I have any Asian friends who act like that, but more like Asian moms. <laughs> Yeah, so he's yeah, the one. Of, uh, he's the one. Is the, is the one who actually, I guess, made this term "emotional damage" popular because yeah, he was the one who was saying it in all his videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emotional damaged. Yeah. So maybe, maybe we can make our our companion bot on Telegram at agency PT. <laughs> That'll be yes, everything, I mean, right? So it'll be fun, right? Exactly. Well, whatever the get... personality you want. Yes, whatever the use case is, if you use these messaging apps like Telegram, WhatsApp, other ones, uh, other they have a very comprehensive documentation and a lot of features for you already, right? So you just simply need to focus on the logic and the rest is going to be taken care of by those frameworks. And you can use it for business, you can use it for all sorts of things. And, and People are using WhatsApp. I think depending on where you are in the world, these messaging apps are popular in different and certain areas of the world. But Telegram is really, really fantastic. WhatsApp also is good. I like Telegram more in uh, personally. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. This is a really cool project. I guess we'll see you next time. See you.